Hey guys, it's Claire. As you might be able to tell, I am out of the hospital. This is like obviously a different background. I am in our house in like rural Georgia, which if you know me, I am not a huge fan of being in the middle of nowhere. Like I like being in a city, being able to do stuff. And I get that like I was in the hospital, so do I really have a place to complain about like where I am? And I don't have that much energy to go out and do stuff. I mean, all of that is true, but still, being in rural Georgia, not not my cup of tea. Anyway, so I'm out of the hospital. I got out June 17th and we went straight from the hospital to the airport and we flew over here with like my wheelchair and stuff. As you might be able to tell, I still have my pick line and I'm still getting meds. I'm still getting IV fluid. Don't know how long that will go on for. We're like arranging stuff for when I go back to Hong Kong. Anyway, since I last filmed, I've been able to walk a lot more. If I'm out, I still use like a wheelchair because I get tired pretty quickly and like if I'm out say shopping or something I want to be able to like conserve my energy so that I can try on clothes and stuff like important stuff like that versus like walking around which is not a great use of my energy like certain stores I'll not stand up at because they're not worthy if it's free people I will stand up because free people is like my favorite thing ever so yeah I've been able to walk a lot more there have been some days where I'll walk like six or seven miles which is probably ever doing it like then I sometimes feel bad a couple days after that but it's just so nice to be able to walk I'll just like walk around my house like back and forth pacing and stuff and it's really really nice like after not being able to walk I see why like if someone was like really sick afterwards they might like run a marathon or something just because once you have like those abilities back like you want to do stuff and like I've really wanted to just gain back like some of the muscle that I've lost because I lost like so much of like my body weight and I know that I lost some muscle because I was basically like sitting in bed and for a while I like could barely sit up for like five minutes in bed like that was a struggle which now it isn't thank goodness like I went vegan like this summer because I like how vegan food tastes anyway so I would went gluten free and dairy free before this and when I'd look up like restaurants a lot of them would be vegan and so in Hong Kong if you want to go to some restaurants which are veg or vegan um, Maya Cafe which is totally vegan and is in Shenguan would recommend them they are very good like I, I love Maya Cafe but yeah Maya Cafe is great and the Mana fast slow food in Central on Wellington Street also great they have they're not totally vegan they have some cheese they're like totally veg but they do flatbreads they have gluten free ones they are so so good really would recommend them oh so anyway after like some of my favorite restaurants were vegan and then this summer I just decided okay I'm going to go vegan and it's been really good like the food's so good like I I personally like really like it I wouldn't have like a couple years ago like I was not I was very much like meat and potatoes were like things which I liked um, if you're in Atlanta because we just were at, in Buckhead after we dropped my brother off at camp we went to Buckhead to go shopping and I would recommend if you're like there there's Sunflower Cafe, which they have another one in, I want to say, Sandy Springs. They're like a totally vegan restaurant. Very good. They have a lot of gluten-free options as well. Just delicious. Like, so good. We're getting their cookbook because it was just amazing. And then if you're at Lenox Square Mall, there is True Food Kitchen, which isn't vegan. They just are like sort of like farm-to-table kind of idea. They have some vegan options. It was so good. Would recommend that as well. Like, if you're there, whether you're vegan or not, it's great. Same thing with Sunflower Cafe, even if you're not vegan, the food's just so good. And like, even if I was still eating meat, I think I would have liked it, so I'd recommend that as well. Also, if you are looking for like specialty chocolate, I have some like good recommendations. I don't know that anyone's going to be like, oh, let me find a video on specialty chocolate, but there is this one brand in Hong Kong called Panna Chocolate, which is from Australia, I think, and they have like an actual store in Australia, so if you're there, Highly recommend going there. It's vegan chocolate that's sweetened with agave, coconut oil base, so you have to keep it refrigerated. It is delicious. Like, really good. Like, it's better than normal chocolate. I would recommend it. They have it in Hong Kong, Australia. I want to say parts of the UK also carry it. And I want to say, like, two stores in California carry it. But I could be wrong on that. You can't get it in the rest of the states, which kind of sucks, but it's it's so good. If you're in the states and you want to like order something online, Lulu's chocolate sweetened with coconut sugar, and it is also really good. Like it's raw chocolate as well. It's more like normal chocolate, and you can get like almond butter cups. You can get salted caramel things. It's so it's it's delicious. And then there are also these truffles that we got at Whole Foods the other day, which are coconut oil based, which are really good. If I'll find I'll find the name of them and I'll either write it down below or I'll have it up here with like a picture. That was delicious. I have a thing for I have times where I'm like, I want chocolate, I want chocolate now. And I can't have like normal refined sugar, because sugar isn't great to have with lime. I try and limit my sugar intake. I have 
sugar in fruit doesn't bother me and like if it's coconut sugar or agave I just make sure that I limit my consumption of it to like a very small amount a day like I don't go over maybe 10 grams of that kind of sugar in a day I probably go like less than that because I, I don't want to just have too much of that because I don't see that as being a good thing with lime it, yeah I would recommend those options if you're like in the need for like specialty chocolate that is low glycemic and that's also vegan so those are delicious I mean they're more expensive than normal chocolate but they're they're worth it so yeah um this is quite possibly the most random video I've ever made that might be a lie I all of my videos are pretty random and rambly especially since I don't have a lot going on in my life right now anyway I I will hopefully make a video soon. I don't know, I say that all the time. Like, I'll make a video when I end up making a video. And until then, bye.